If you're used to allocating static IP addresses in an on-premises Windows server, it's slightly different in Azure because of how Microsoft manages its cloud networking. Let's click Create a Resource and create a new virtual machine with a static public IP address. I'll choose Compute and then Virtual Machine and get the standard details for configuring any new virtual machine in Azure. It's selected my correct subscription, so I'll click Create New under the Resource Group and create a new resource group name to put this virtual machine in and its components. I'll enter a virtual machine name, and I'm happy for it to be in the East US region, which has been selected by default. I'll make this a Windows Server 2019 VM, and enter an administrator account, username, and password. I can leave these other settings by default and click through to disks, which are all fine to leave at their defaults as well. And then I'll click next for the networking section. I'm happy with the default settings for the virtual network and the subnet, and I'm going to create a new public IP by clicking on create new and then entering a name. Here, it's important to make sure that the SKU, the SKU, is the same as the SKU if you are using a public IP address on an Azure Load Balancer. If this virtual machine won't be behind an Azure Load Balancer with a public IP address, you can independently choose whether to use the basic or the standard SKU here. Most importantly, I'll click the Static button under Assignment and then click OK. I'm happy with the remaining defaults, so I'll click Review and Create and then click Create again once the validation has passed against our Azure policies. Now the virtual machine and its components have been created, we can take a look at that static public IP address. In the Azure portal search bar, I'm going to start typing in the name that we gave the public IP address. And in the search results under Resources, I'll click on Contoso-Pub2. The resource details confirm what the public static IP address has been set to, in this case 104.45.193.54, and which virtual machine it's associated with and connected to. I can also click on Configuration under Settings and confirm that this public IP address is static.